Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader, one of our top moderators in MIC chat, returns for episode 28 of his fundamental analysis series, in which case this week he's going to talk about REKR and deep dive into it. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey everyone, what's going on? Chicago Trader here, checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Um, hope you guys had a nice trading week here. Uh, I'm going to go over one name a little bit more in depth and then a couple others I'll just skim at the end. But I uh, wanted to kind of dig into this one, uh, Recourse Systems, uh, the ticker's R-E-K-R. Um, kind of just got this brought to my attention. Um, someone in chat had mentioned it and kind of got to looking at the chart and um, definitely an interesting play here. So if you look at it, if you guys haven't seen it already, um, April, you know, this thing is down here at 60 cents and it's had quite the run, um, all the way up to almost 550 and it's closed. Um, so once I, uh, you know, kind of started digging into it, there's a few things that I thought, uh, were kind of interesting that, uh, caught my attention. So the first one was an AK, um, from the 18th of March here. So usually when I'm looking through these, uh, AKs, you know, it, I don't look for anything in particular, but material uh, definitive agreements are usually things that I just go check it over because a lot of times it can be with raising money or reducing warrants, whatever it is. Um, so basically, they, I mean, the company is not that large. Um, you know, at this time, I think that the company has market cap is around $10, 20000000 million. And here they basically do a, uh, they agree to a note um, of up to $20 million. So, you know, nothing to see. But once you kind of get the reading into it, um, you know, they pay $650,000 in fees. Um, you know, they're going to be paying monthly installments of $40,000 each. Um, and then here on this last sentence on the earlier of the maturity date or payment in full of the obligations under the no purchase agreement, the company shall pay an exit fee of a million dollars. Um, so essentially, if they pay it off, obviously, when it's due or they pay it off earlier, they have to pay uh, a million dollar fee. So... I was looking into that. Let me go here through my highlights. If you guys don't know anything you highlight on a, you know, this BAM sec, which is 25 bucks a month. Um, you know, you can kind of come over here and look at it. Oh, here it is. So this is in the uh, most recent 10 Q. So under this agreement, they, um, pay, where's that? Anyways, I'll, I'll find it. They pay 24%. There it is. The, uh, the effective interest rate on $20 million that they borrowed is 24.8%, which is absurd. They're going to pay almost $5 million in interest. Um, and they gave the company, you know, the 2.5 million warrants at 74 cents. So whoever gave these guys money is just absolutely banking. Um, so I'm going to scroll to the top of this 10Q. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <clears throat> company's got 20 million shares. Pretty low on cash. And one thing I did you know, kind of uh, realize they have a, you know, $7 million in receivables and, um, you know, you don't know when it's going to come in, how much is going to come in. So you got to kind of uh, play that one out. You know, obviously got a lot of debt now with this. Uh, the company, they do AI for, you know, a few different industries, law enforcement, um, banks, logistics. So, it's, you know, it's not a complete fraud, I guess, like business model. Um, what else was there to see in here? Yeah, so see, this is another thing with the accounts receivable. You can, a lot of times they'll tell you how much they expect is, you know, to receive. If any of it's doubtful, that they don't think they're going to get paid. And, um, you know, it's just a little bit, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars. Um, but anyway, so here, here's what I, uh, wanted to kind of just, you know, put it all together. 
obviously this is investment advice guys um, on my part or MIC, so do your own due diligence. But um, company have 19 million shares outstanding. The float's about 10 million. Um, and that, you know, you gotta, obviously, this is where it comes a little bit tougher when they got these warrants and the money. Um, if they're exercised, it's about 12 and a half million shares. Uh, so the, if we zoom in here on the chart, let me just get this real quick. The highest closing price, I think, was 536, 535, somewhere around there. Um, so you can see it's a pretty big difference. Uh, if, you know, if they got the 12.5 million shares, right? So if they did exercise all the warrants, times 536, which is the highest closing price in the last 60 days, they can raise, you know, $67 million divided by three because they're restricted, um, $22 million. So, and even if they can't, you know, say, I, I, you know, if they haven't um, exercised the warrants, then you can have about $18 million. So that's why I'm sitting here thinking, okay, so the cash, um, you know, they're under probably $3 million of cash, even if they did exercise the warrants. So, you know, they got at least, you know, two or three months of cash. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.